Thomas Hearns coming in at 145, two pounds under the limit, and as Gil pointed out, uh, may be a source of concern. Well, Tim, right now I have given Tommy Hearns the first two rounds, as have the judges. He's putting the rounds in the bank because Ray Leonard is fighting a strictly defensive fight up to this point. Round number three from Las Vegas, Nevada, the undisputed welterweight championship. Sugar Ray Leonard on the right of your screen, Thomas Hearns on the left. Tim, you see the way Sugar Ray Leonard is jabbing? He's completely off balance. His weight is not over his feet, so he can't follow it with any kind of a combination. Hearns patiently waiting for an opening here in the third round. Leonard back using his footwork. There's a big left hand from Hearns. Solid left hook scored by the taller Tommy Hearns. Trying to follow up now, and of course, Leonard trying to indicate to him he wasn't hurt by it, but he's backpedaling. I like the way Tommy Hearns throws that straight right hand to the body, Tim. That sets up a lot of other punches for him. Missed with a straight right down the pipe, but throws another combination behind it. And Ray, a nice move off the ropes there, Gil. Yeah, but Ray is not punching back, Tim. Right at this moment, he's not in the fight offensively. Hearns really loading up on that right now. Decided lack of offense from Leonard at this point. Burns with a range finder jab again. They just can't seem to get off him. It seems like his feet are stuck in the mud. He starts to try to get off and then he just changes his mind. There's a right hand thrown by Leonard and Kearns countered with a good right hand. You know when you're a tall guy the way Kearns is, you know, he leaves that, that opening for you if you need to throw the right hand. But if he blocks it or you miss, you're in perfect position for him to nail you with that big right hand of his. And there's Ray giving him a lot of head movement, a lot of leg movement, grabbing the ropes, which is a foul, as Davey Pearl pointed out. Leonard scoring a left and a right, but Hearns again countering effectively. Now Sugar Ray just threw one right hand, even though it missed him, he threw it with bad intentions. Leonard picking up his pace, but he missed with an overhand right and a left behind it. Down a right hand from Hearns, but Leonard forcing him back to the ropes. Now they go toe-to-toe -to -toe for the first time. Leonard is really overworking that right hand. Good right hand by Tommy Hearns. Good left hook to the body. That right hand from Hearns got Leonard's attention, backed him up some. Now Hearns digging to the body, and Leonard fires back. The right hand from Leonard at the bell. Best round of the fight so far, and... Many in the audience come to their feet here at Caesars Palace as Ray Leonard raises his hands. Back downstairs. Back downstairs. Get downstairs. Stay down the one time you stay hard. You only got a dinner, right? Stay in hard downstairs. The ship was over the next. Let's take a look at the action. They were telling Sugar Ray downstairs, downstairs, but it looks to me like he's going upstairs and he's missing with some of these punches. Another miss upstairs. Finally, he threw. Uh, an ineffective punch to the body, but almost every one of his punches are aimed at Tommy Hearns' head. But right now, they're finding each other, Tim. They're in front of each other, and they're throwing hard, meaningful punches. And you can see that left hook to the body by Tommy Hearns, a beautiful left hook. That was, those are the kind of punches I like. Well, two of the judges gave that round to Sugar Ray Leonard, and Lou Tabbitt gave it to Thomas Hearns. So Hearns continues to lead. On the judges' scorecards as we head into round number four. Hearns on the right, Leonard on the left. You heard Leonard's corner imploring him to start working the body. But in that third round, it was really the first round that Leonard showed some serious offense, and it looked like he was trying to intimidate Hearns to show that perhaps he'll be the knockout man tonight. You know, Tim, in Ray's corner, they told him to stay downstairs, stay downstairs. I don't recall him being downstairs. Unless you want to call that left jab that he's throwing to the body a good body punch. He hasn't been working the body as he should be. Scheduled for 15 rounds. The undisputed welterweight championship at stake. The 
flicking left jab of Thomas Hearns. And the boxer's flat-footed right now, Gil. Yes, but I like that straight right hand to the body that Tommy Hearns is throwing on occasion. It's, there it is again. It sets up other punches, Tim. If this continues to be a chess match, uh, Tommy Hearns is, uh, is going to win this fight. Wild swinging left miss by Tommy Hearns. So far, his jab has been his most potent and effective weapon. And Tim, there's a slight swelling underneath the left eye of Sugar Ray Leonard. That came late in round number three. We're in the fourth. Now, there was a good strike right hand by Sugar Ray. Even though it missed, he, he threw a jab, kept his balance, so that he was able to throw that right hand. Leonard blocking the left lead from Hearns. But there's that right to the body that Bill referred to. And now Sugar Ray throws a good straight right hand to the body. Under a minute to go, round number four. Combination from Leonard Lands. Short with the right hand. Hearns failed to counter. Right hand counter by Hearns landed. And a good left hook by Sugar Ray Leonard, Tim. Finished off the combination. Right by Leonard and then two shots right back from Tommy Hearns. Slowing the attack from Sugar Ray. Tim, they may have hurt Sugar Ray Leonard. Under the 15 second mark to go. Hearns sensing an advantage here, trying to press it. Final seconds of the fourth. Right landed by Hearns, and an uppercut underneath. Again, Leonard scoring after the bell this time, but a strong finish in round four for Tommy Hearns. You know, Tommy Hearns landed a lot of effective punches in that round, Tim. Uh, Leonard felt the power of Tommy Hearns. He's back there in the corner, looks pretty calm. And here we see Tommy Hearns, Manny Stewart talking to him. Here's that flurry at the end of the last round by Tommy Hearns. Good straight right hand by Hearns. Moving around, trying to set up Ray. There's another straight right hand. There's that left hook to the body. See how that set up the right hand, Tim? And there's another right hand by Tommy Hearns. And a left hook by Tommy Hearns. Landing some pretty good punches on Sugar Ray Leonard at the end of this round. Now let's take another look at this. There's that straight right hand again. Missed that big left hook. And Sugar Ray still bouncing around. Still a nice straight right hand to the body. But he's being outpunched by Tommy Hearns, as you can see, at the end of the round. Well, all three judges gave that round to Thomas Hearns, and uh, like uh, Lou Tabbitt, uh, we agree that uh, Tommy Hearns has won every round so far. Round number five, scheduled for 15, Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, Nevada. Sugar Ray Leonard off to a somewhat difficult start against the rangy Thomas Hearns. Near the end of that fourth round, Hearns found his range, and there is a little swelling under the eye of Sugar Ray Leonard. Hearns short with the right on that last exchange. But you can see the, you can see the confidence building in Tommy Hearns, uh, Tim. He's taking chances now, putting punches together, exposing himself a little bit. And so far, Ray is just fighting a defensive fight. Clicking left jab landed by Hearns. And you can see that swelling under the left eye of Sugar Ray Leonard. And if those jabs continue to land, Tim, that could cause him a problem later on in the fight. Look where Tommy Hearns has that left hand. Right down by his side. He's saying to Ray, here's, here's my chin, Ray. Hit me with that right hand or throw it at me so I can nail you. And Ray is, I guess maybe a little too smart to lead with the right hand. One of the no-nos in boxing. Again, not much offense by Leonard in the early part of this round. We approach the halfway mark of round number five. Well, Ray is, there's a good right hand by Ray Leonard. Threw it over that low left hand, but Ray is going to have to get a little closer, Tim. He can't stay outside on the perimeter there and just continue to go side to side and let 